What's up, good people? Yours truly, Natasha Varela, the money nista, 20 years in audit, accounting, and tax, tax strategist, business owner, real estate investor, wealth builder through the United States tax code, educator of wealth building through the United States tax code. And so a lot of people ask me about a self-directed IRA, right, when it comes to purchasing property, um, because there's a lot of benefits as far as um, avoiding tax, right, legally. However, with a self-directed IRA, you yourself don't have any benefits. Everything has to run through the self-directed IRA. So you don't get the mortgage interest, the property taxes, depreciation, bonus depreciation, or any of those deductions when you have a property that is run through the self-directed IRA. Okay, so your personal return is not affected. You get no offsetting of ordinary income if you utilize real estate professional status. You don't get to utilize accelerated expenses. None of this hits your personal tax return. So while it is a good option, you yourself will not offset any ordinary income by utilizing strategies um, that a lot of real estate investors use to offset income and build wealth by saving on those tax dollars. So any expenses, repairs, any of that stuff, all of those expenses, they run through the actual self-directed IRA. It is almost like a separate entity from yourself, okay? So just a little tidbit on um, self-directed IRAs and owning real estate through self-directed IRAs.